We're, we're doing Bill's um, fancy video <laughs> setup. We're talking about transistors. If I take a power supply, and if we look at a diode, and the symbol for a diode, it's always something like that, but if we come across that diode, and we turn that diode on and off with a middle pin, here's my pin right here. And this goes to, let's say, a motor. Right here, we're gonna call that the motor. So now I can take a pin and I can switch five volts through the motor. The Arduino won't provide enough power from the pin to turn this on and off, so we take a, a high voltage, high current, or higher voltage, higher current power supply and switch this. If I take two of these, put them together. Here's another pin. And this is GND ground right here, right? I now can switch the whole system from two pins. But if I come over here and I do another one like this, and I attach it here, and this is GND, and this comes out, and this is 5V right here, and here's my, uh, oh, there's my transistor coming in there, my, brick, my drawing skills are, so we're going to call this pin A, pin B, pin C, and pin D. So now when I turn on pins D and B, power flows this way through the motor and it spins one way. When I turn on pins A and C, power goes the other way and the motor spins the opposite way. This is called an H-bridge driver. And if I'd drawn this the correct way, it would look like the letter H, but um, my dyslexia got a hold of me this morning. I'm low on coffee. So. No, it's it, it's it's good and symmetrical, and it makes sense because you can kind of see there. There's the one circuit that goes one way, and the other circuit that goes the other way, right? From yep. So we embed all these circuits like we usually use a separate chip that has all these transistors built into it, and that's an H bridge drive. We used to uh, clutch something similar to this with our Power Wheels race cars by turning the battery around and putting it in and making the car run backwards. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Bill, how do we